everybody, I am the Lazy Kiwi and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a few mods that I think everybody needs in their game. Now these mods are things that I use a lot and I love them, so I would love to share them with all of you guys. But without further ado, let us get into the first mod. So the first mod is going to be the Cuddle in Bed mod by Mizor Yuki and the Pancake One. And as you can see, couples start cuddling in bed when they go to sleep. I think this is just the cutest little thing and it just adds that a little bit of realism that I love so much. Like it's not a very big mod obviously, it only does this one thing, but I think that's absolutely Perfect. I mean, just look at them. Look at them sleeping so soundly. Now, we don't technically have any single sims in this house. However, I do need to show you guys the next mod. So the next mod is going to be Simda by Little Miss Sam. So this uh, mod does exactly what it tells you. It adds a dating app called Simda. So if you go to the phone in-game, you're gonna see this new little icon and clicking on that, you're gonna see the Simda dating app. Now this does exactly what it says. It's going to basically be a dating app. So you can find a specific date, a blind date, female, male. So this is just like you can choose your preferences and stuff, a one-night stand, and this is also where you can enable or disable hookup calls so i think that's a lot of fun so i think something fun maybe would be to do a female blind date so we're not gonna know who it is at all oh okay it's gonna take us immediately i thought it was gonna be a little while oh and this is the random sim. Let's just go to this karaoke place or something. Now, my guy is technically cheating on his wife right now. But we're not gonna think about that. This is just for the mod review. So I believe this is our blind date. And she's actually very pretty. Like, I am surprised by this towny generation. She's not bad at all. So this is kind of what you have to do. You have to kind of do normal date things. And the first of them is going to obviously be maybe to introduce yourself. But... <laughs> Now, besides for blind dates, there are other things that you can do, like just chatting to a person online and getting to know them through the internet and stuff like that. But I wanted to show you guys one of the more outgoing aspects of this mod. Oh, wow, I, <laughs> I already did it. So I'm going to end this date here, obviously, because I don't want to show you the whole entire thing. But that's essentially what that is. So you can kind of meet new people that way and find a love interest a lot easier that way. And I just think that's so nice. It's also a nice thing for like storylines and stuff. I think it's just so lovely. Okay, so the next mod is a mod for all of you simmers who love to build and do clutter in the game. So the next mod is the OMSP shelf. Now I'm sure a lot of you have probably heard or seen this being used a bunch of times before, but what this mod essentially does is it's helping you to clutter your place up a lot more. So let's say I really want to clutter up this table over here, but I only have like three slots. So what I do is I just, oh well, I don't have to move the table first, but I do go to shelves. And that is where you will find this lovely shelf. And this is going to help you so much to clutter objects. So you just press Alt and then you get it to where you want it, like the table height. Now you will probably need to move the table a little bit, but then you can place a bunch of things on here that you would like and essentially get it perfectly slotted to where you want it on the table because usually it's quite a bit difficult to get things at the right height when you move it with the control 9 or 0 button for those of you who know how to do that obviously so this way it's just a very easy way to clutter up a table very very quickly and very easily now obviously the things i'm using right now aren't the best clutter objects like i don't think i would 
actually clutter a table like this but as you can see this way there is no gap in between the objects and the table it's perfectly on there and it does look very well maybe not these objects but if you do actually try they will look very very nice and i think that's lovely the next mod well mods are going to be the three that i was talking about in the beginning that kind of go hand in hand and these are the milestone mods that i want to show you guys but as you guys know you have your sims normal milestones that you can see just by the milestones but you can also go to your sim and click on them and then you would find the milestone thing my bobby so to get to the milestone thing my bobby you need to go to more options or well if actions are there you go to actions and then you will see manage milestones so this is where you can add remove or you know just all of the things but let's maybe just say add general minds milestones this is where you will find all of the milestones now these milestones there are a lot of newly added milestones that do not come with the game and these come from two different mods one of them being a milestones expanded from the same creator lampino and the other one being 40 new milestones by waffle mixins so i will be linking both of those i not too sure which of them come with which one specifically but as you can see there is a lot of milestones now i think let's say maybe we would want to say this sim has revived a fellow alien and you want to add that milestone now if we just click on it and we go to view milestones we will see this little milestone that we just added and poor little guy with X's for eyes, the least I could do is risk my disguise and bring him back to life. For we are both lost here in the, on this world and I found him. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So you see, this just adds a bunch of different things that I think is so nice to have. And I don't know, I think it's so lovely to have so many more milestones in your game. So next up, we have the Spend Weekend With mod. So this mod is going to allow your sim to spend a weekend with other sims so like their grandparents their siblings who probably moved out stuff like that without you intruding in their home technically so all you have to do is you go to the phone to the social panel and then you just say spend weekend with and then you're going to obviously choose who you want to spend this weekend with so i have a lot of family members here who he can go and see but let's maybe go to Raven's house. Why not? Oh my gosh. Okay, so then your sim that you chose, aka okay, Raven, comes around and say, Hi, I'm here to pick up. And then you can choose, obviously, the sim that you would like to go. And then they're gone. So you can either go to that household and then play with them for a little bit. But as you can see, she's leaving for the weekend. So this way, it's a nice way to to get sims out of the house like let's say you have a divorced family and you want the kids to get out of the house for a weekend then you just send them away and you can obviously choose to go over to that household and rather play with that family for the little while so you also get this little notification that says something like i will be gone now call me when you want me to come home so if you do decide oh okay so i'm done now you can come back home you just go back and say call household member home and then they just come back like they never left ever <laughs> so they're back into your family i think this is just a really nice way to get sims out for a weekend maybe a reason for people to start playing with another household for a little bit that is if you want to do like a split household thing i think that's a fun idea at least and i think this mod is lovely for that now we only have one mod left for 
for today and it's not a very big mod but I do think it's a very nice mod. So this mod is the Pose Override by Dira Kim and it does exactly what it says. It overrides the poses for taking selfies. So let's say I want to take a selfie with the girl Tanisha who he's been kissing a lot, oh my goodness. But you literally just take a selfie with somebody and then you get a bunch of new poses. So as you can see, this mod just basically overrides the pose that your sims make. I think this is lovely. Just look at them looking so happy. Let's take a, take a few photos of this. I think it's so cute. And this way, with all of the emotions, you can really get a lot of different photos of your sims. And it's gonna make it so much nicer for when you want to put up a little oh my gosh I mean a wall I'm so sorry it's gonna make it so much nicer when you want to put up a little photo of your sims somewhere so let's use this lovely table that we have here and here we have our lovely posed photo oh my gosh that's so nice as you can see here this creator has a bunch of different poses and you can kind of choose which one you want so they have a few selfie poses that you guys can choose from and yeah that is all of the mods for today Day. so thank you all so so much for watching do let me know what you guys think about these mods and if you're going to be getting any of them and if you guys enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing to my channel and i will definitely be seeing all of you in another video goodbye everybody